Thank you for your interest in AMS. AMS is an analog semiconductor company with a focus on sensor technologies. Today, we're taking a look at the innovative AS7221 Smart Lighting Manager. The AS7221 supports the monitoring and tuning of correlated color temperature, also called CCT, and also allows dimming in light fixtures. It even has hooks for connecting it to the IoT, or the Internet of Things. So what exactly is a smart lighting manager? Well, the AS7221 consists of a color sensor combined with intelligence and control capabilities. This integrated solution, when installed into a replacement lamp or into a luminaire, allows the luminaire to precisely control the dimming level in response to measured ambient daylight. Even more, it allows the adjustment of the color of the white light generated by the luminaire. For more information on this exciting product, let's take a look at the AMS website at www.ams.com. In the search box, I will type AS7221. I should note that there are actually four different variants in the AS7200 family of smart lighting managers. You should check each of them out. However, for this discussion, we're going to focus on the AS7221. A lot of key information for the AS7221 is right here on the AMS website. In the upper left, there's a high-level description. We can request more technical information and also pricing information. Continuing down the web page a little further, there is a block diagram of the AS7221. If we scroll down a little further, there is a list of key features of the device. One exciting feature is that the AS7221 has an XYZ tri-stimulus sensor. This allows for very accurate correlated color temperature readings. Another key feature is that the AS7221 is compatible with standard dimmer occupancy controls and ballasts. Moving down the AMS webpage, we see a list of some product facts. One useful fact is that the AS7221 contains a true color XYZ sensor that delivers direct color point data that corresponds to the standard CIE color map. Another useful fact is that the AS7221 supports Internet of Things, or IoT, connectivity. This connectivity is achieved in a reference design where the AS7221 connects using a serial interface to a Bluetooth RF module. Further down the AMS website is a link to a press release for the very first smart daylighting manager in the AS7200 family. This press release contains a nice explanation about the Smart Daylighting Manager device, some of its features, and also describes some real-world applications. The press release is a nice summary. Here is a physical sample of the AS7221 Smart Lighting Manager device. It is shown here in a wafer-level chip scale package, and it has 20 pins. The dimensions of the chip scale package are just 2.3, by 2.5 millimeters. But the AS7221 is also available in a slightly larger LGA package that includes an integrated aperture. Let's see what the Smart Lighting Integration Kit looks like. In the upper right corner of the circuit board, there's a small silver rectangle. That is the actual AS7221 Daylighting Manager device soldered onto the circuit board. Shown in the upper left is a connector that interfaces to an I2C master and provides expansion to a sensor hub. Connecting to a sensor hub might allow a fire sensor or carbon monoxide sensor to be integrated into the system. The connector on the lower left is for a serial UART. The UART enables connection to a reference Bluetooth module. With these two boards connected together, the AS7221 Daylighting Manager is now able to communicate via Bluetooth to a smartphone. Let's go ahead and walk through a demonstration system we put together to show how the AS7221 can work. We begin with an Android tablet that has Bluetooth wireless connectivity built right in. The tablet is running a demonstration application that allows the tablet to wirelessly network with the Smart Daylighting Module. 
Let's take a look at this Smart Daylighting Module circuit board one more time. Here's the AS7221 module, and it is physically connected to the Bluetooth controller circuit board on the left. We have this very same setup installed into the Luminaire reference design that is running in the background. This particular Luminaire reference design is a one foot by one foot light fixture. The lighting surface inside incorporates strings of both warm colored and cool colored white LEDs that can be controlled by the Smart Lighting Manager. As we shall see, the AS7221 Smart Lighting Manager control module allows control of both the color and the dimming level of the luminaire. The Android tablet is now running a software application and it uses its Bluetooth to communicate over the air to the Smart Lighting Manager, which is embedded into the luminaire. The application has two separate slider controls. Let's first use the dimming slider on the left. It is currently set at 100%, but if I now touch it to say 32%, the tablet sends the new setting wirelessly over to the AS7221 module that is embedded in the light fixture. The smart lighting manager then controls the outputs to the LED strings in the luminaire and thereby lowers the dimming value accordingly. If you look at the readout at the top of the left slider scale, it is measuring the actual lighting intensity of the luminaire. The dimming level has dropped to 32%, just as we requested. Let's lower it again down to say 12% dimming level. Again, the luminaire gets dimmed and the smart lighting module sends us the new actual measured value. It is now at 12% dimming level. The right slider allows us to change the color temperature. Let's go ahead and decrease the color temperature from its current 5000 Kelvin, which is a white blue color, down to a warmer 3300 or so Kelvin. The actual CCT or correlated color temperature is being measured in real time by the AS7221 and the CCT value is dropping as we requested. In conclusion, we can see that the AS7221 Smart Daylighting Manager is able to measure both correlated color temperature and also light intensity. It then uses those real-world measurements to intelligently control a luminaire or light fixture. For more information, please contact AMS. Thank you.